I was telling Andrani yesterday mm -hmm. that the coldest it ever got when I lived in Omaha, Nebraska for two years and I was doing plays out there. Negative 70 wind chill. <laughs> she said, what would that be in Celsius? And she looked up, it was like 150 negative. <laughs> and she said, that can't be real. I said, yes, that's absolutely real. Nebraska gets cold. Nebraska gets freaking Another place that cold. nobody lives. Nobody lives in Nebraska. No, I was only there for, I did like six plays in two years. Probably six people saw it. Yeah, it was great. Years. Yeah, well, actually, the, the, <laughs> the, the dinner theater we were at sat like 150 people. So we did really good at that one. It was the only equity house in Omaha, Nebraska. I got to do six shows over two years while the writer strike happened here. Uh -huh. And it was, it was a great experience. But man, the winters. Winters and freaking tornado season. Oh, yeah. No. No, Not thank good. you. Not good. No. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. And you follow us on Instagram. Follow us. Juicy follow content. us. There's good stuff over there, kids. Patreon. Yeah. Account. Bells. Random. Icons. Icons, yeah. Yeah. Uh, today we're doing a movie review. Boys and girls of all ages. Come one, come all to the movie review, review time. Uh, and we, take drugs like me so you can stutter when you talk. And like, that's, that's why we love Bollywood so much, because they do drugs. We yes, and what I love about they sell us drugs. I love the fact that people wonder why we're bootlickers because mm -hmm. there's cocaine on the boots. That's true, and that's the best thing about Bollywood it's is they don't just do cocaine; pure. they do it with their family, and it's pure. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is not a Bollywood film. Uh, this is, I know. Uh, no, no, this no, is no, from this is the Tamil. 1997 Tamil film Iruvar uh, uh, from Mani Ratnam, which I believe means duo. The yeah, duo? Yeah. Uh, Mani Ratnam, uh, directed, written, produced, and composed by our dost, uh, A.R. Rahman. A.R. Rahman. Uh, starring Mohanlal, uh, Prakash Raj, uh, Ashwarya Rai Bachchan, her debut. Yes. And uh, Taboo. And, and his, it's my understanding, it was Mohanlal's, his first demo film. Oh, that might be true, because yeah. obviously he was known for Malayalam. And, and, Correct. And, you know, so that's, that's, very, that's very possible. Uh, tell, me, tell us if that's uh, true or not. I know it was Ashwarya's debut after. Correct. She won in, what, she 1994, won in 1994. Yeah. And then uh, I think, I don't know if, it, I think she had done like music videos, though, before. That wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, regardless. It came out in 1997. <laughs> watch it. Go watch it. Come back, because this will be a hundred spoiler review yep. uh, for our old films. The only ones that we really do non-spoilers are for our new films, in case you are new here. Um, so if you haven't watched it, go watch it, come back. Rick, your initial no uh, spoiler thoughts. Yeah, because we can talk about no, the whole not. thing. Yeah. Um, I loved it. Really? Yep. Wow. Uh, I have a, if someone hold were on, to, hold on. It's Tamil though. You hate, you hate, you hate it. I know it's true. Like Bombay, I really. Yeah. Everyone knows I didn't like Bombay. Yeah, you hate, you hate. Yeah, it's true. You just yeah. hate all South. All of it, all of it. In fact, if it just says South Indian films, you just hate it. All of it, all regions. I really only like Hindi. So that's speaking. your actual view, Hindi right? and Bengali. That's so, it. So you said you'd liked it. That's fake. That's a, I always this, lie. It's gonna be a fake. Yeah, I, everything I do. Okay. I just, want, I just wanted to clarify for everyone. So I would be. <laughs> I think I still lean toward Bombay only because the story's so much more gripping for me. Mm -hmm. However, uh, and this may sound strange, but it's one of the reasons why someone can win like best director but not get best picture. Mm. I think this is head and shoulders his best directing. I think it's the best directing. I think it's the most grounded acting. I think it's it's one of the best cinematographies that you would that you could miss if you're not really aware of how good the cinematography is in mm. this it's uh, and i love the story i love the the profound simplicity of the messages in the story so we have a lot to talk about but ultimately this would be right up there with bombay as far as mm. my my money rock we've seen like seven of his films yeah, we've now seen a lot of his films and and this is by far for me right up there and I guess depending upon what aspect of it you're referring to, yeah. it would out surpass Bombay for me. So I, I really, I enjoyed every minute of this movie. Yeah, I loved this film too. I thought this was, a, and I, what you said was, I've been trying to think, I was like, because I think I like the film of Bombay better. 
I think I do too. I think it's just an overall. And I think it's the high power of the story. Yeah, because the a couple issues I have with this are maybe some of the choppiness of some of like the, the the way it does. You know, because it spans a, a lifetime, right? It does a, a full long, lifetime. Long time. So some of that I feel is a little choppy as opposed to Bombay, which is just very clear cut right. what they're doing. So maybe that's right. what it is. But I do agree with you. I think this is not only his best directing, but in terms of his partnership with his cinematographer, which Agreed. I believe. The cinematography in this was out of this Incredible. world. Incredible. Out of this world. And, uh, and very different. We'll always use, for example, the spectacle of a Sanjay Lila Bansali film and the lights and the capturing of things cinematically that paint a picture. Because mm -hmm. we love that aesthetic and it's really beautiful to see that. Or the symmetry of directors. Like if you want to see symmetry and imagery that is out of this world mathematically, then watch anything by Wes Anderson, but especially the French Dispatch right now. Um, there's, there's a difference in this kind of cinematography, which has to do with framing of shots, choosing to do things reflective that you might not even pick up on because the acting is so engrossing. It's easy to let something go by because you're so enraptured with the actors and the story they're telling and the script. Mm -hmm. The poetry in the script. Yeah, I'm and sure we didn't even get the half of it. I'm sure we didn't, but for a subbed film, at times I thought this was subbed by our subbers. Yeah. <laughs> it was that good. It was, I thought it was real, real nice, and you know, you always miss stuff in subbing. Obviously. So, but you yeah. already. Kn and I'm sure the length of this review bodes for those of you who've been around. You know, if it's a longer review, we like to film. If it's short, because if you <laughs> not don't always, if you don't yeah. have anything nice to say. We, we just, it's a short review. Not always. No, but yeah, that's that not is, always. It's, it's typically, if it's under 20 minutes, sometimes it's, uh, um, but anyways, so, and also I, the, the, the score and the composition oh my stars. of it was, uh, uh, our dose Off the charts. in terms of the songs. Um, yeah, that, that too for me. What they did with it, like some of the moments, like when they decided, I thought it was a brilliant moment, not only cinematographer wise, because when he was doing a speech, they cut off his speech and they did music. And then they spun around him, which, which is beautiful. Okay, so this is where... One of my favorite shots in the whole thing. I, I, I did some studying up on things about the film, right? Mm -hmm. It won't surprise me if that's one of the moments, as well as the moment where his buddy is on the beach talking to Taboo, mm -hmm. and it goes silent. Mm -hmm. So, like all films, it has to be submitted to the censor board. Yeah. And there's moments, and I think that's one of them, where they, there's where they muted the sound. Was, yeah. Even if it was, I thought it was actually a brilliant. I, I was glued. Yeah, I thought it was actually more powerful. Agreed. Because I was like, oh, what's it, he it saying? actually, it actually. I'm glad it wasn't just left on the the editing room floor. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he said, okay, fine. I'm gonna at least keep my visual integrity here, and I'll silence out what's being said, which is a whole other subject. We won't get into it. We've talked about it before. You need a rating system that's an independent body that's not connected to the government, not a censorship board. Yeah. Please, someday. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, let's just get into it. We, uh, Mohan, let's just start with Mohan Lal, right? It's Mohan Lal, right? Mohan I think Lal, but it's pronounced so quickly by most Mohan people. Lal. It sounds like Mohan so We say Mohan Lal, but it's, I think I hear it's Mohan Lal. Mohan Lal. It's the um, whole... Which I believe this is our pronunciation thing we don't do. Third? Is it our third? Because obviously Jerusalem two. Right. But I think wasn't there one more before that? I that we saw or no? Did we? Oh no! It was it was, it was the, 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 the green, green face. face. Yeah, that's why I was just I was making that face that's trying right. to think of the name of the film where he was the actor with the green Which, face. Uh, we thought he did great and thought the film was nice, but we just uh, we, we thought it was above our head. In terms it was of way above our head. Cultural understanding, correct, of what was going on. Uh, but yeah, so I think this is our third one. I, I, it's one <laughs> completely different than both of those yep. things that we had seen. Obviously, Drishyam 2, uh, which probably his more recent stuff. This is when he was at the height of Mohanlal, like right. rising stardom, rising right? Stardom. Um, I thought it was a really unique character. I thought he brought a lot of traits to it, which I was like... Because you could go, you could base off of this, I feel like... You could like, okay, this is like a regular guy, it's like a star, almost like Renvier and Gully Boy, mm -hmm. like in terms of just, you feel very like simple, like, nice guy. It's simple. Yep. But I feel like there was a, a lot of nuances there, and also I don't think that's him particularly. Right. Um, and so there was a lot that was, also, I'm not comparing him to Renvier, just for all of you idiots Isn't who are about ridiculous? to. Isn't it ridiculous? I know. Yeah. I'm, I, his, 
Shut up. Uh, <laughs> it's I, just know, I just know it, I just know it was coming. Of course. And so I have to... Even hopefully, I, hopefully after 83, a lot of these people who criticize us for raving about Renvere, we haven't seen it yet, obviously, but I have a feeling it's going to be great, and y'all can shut up. Uh, same thing with Alia. Yeah. The fact that we recognize they're both talented but actors. But anyway, I'm not comparing them. I'm comparing the art, well, what we thought of his performance in... Gun. And the character, the specificity yes, of simplicity. those characters. Right. Um, but I thought, one, the way they did the entire scope of it, um, of going from him before he was a star, coming up into stardom, and then transferring into politics. I thought it was really good, as opposed to like uh, a Mamani Ratnam film with Kamal Hassan, which uh, we thought was we didn't like as much as everybody else liked right, that film. Right. And I thought this did the span of a life a lot better. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and I think yeah. one of the things and I liked... His performance in that, I thought. Agree. Good. And one of the things I like about this is that neither one of our main characters go so far afield from who they originally were mm -hmm. that it's the stereotypical transformation from you used to be a nice guy but now that you've got the power you're now this awful terrible person I, I really liked that the changes were really gradual and and not that definitive i think that lent a great deal the script and the development of the characters and the way the story progressed landed a great deal to why that was so good and he's i can this is as grounded yeah. as believable. Every moment, I believed every frame of film, he was this human being going through these things. I found he was particularly uh, sensitive and delightful. And I felt like as far removed as it may be from him personally, he did what most actors do, is that you're sharing of yourself. It wouldn't surprise me if while the character's different from him, mm -hmm. The work was very, very personal for him. I think he's an actor that uses his most personal places, yeah. which is what and obviously, great actors do. We know his reputation, obviously. He's known as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, Malayalam actor of all time. Well, and he's in there, uh, I'm sure, for most people in the conversation for just Indian, Indian actors yeah, of all time. Indian actors of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I thought he definitely showed it, and I'm excited Agreed. to see a lot more of his work. Agreed. Because I thought he had great chemistry with everybody, not only Ashwarya, um, who we'll get to, um, but... I thought his friend. Yeah, um, I love them together. Um, um, oh, sorry, I'm on Mohanlal's IMDb. <laughs> his, um, his page rather than Prakash the film. Raj, who played Tamil Sav. I thought he was Salva, great. Yeah, who I thought was a great performer himself. Absolutely, really grossing. I love I them together. Their chemistry together, I thought was really great. I love that moment, and I I loved how the film at the end goes back to it when. Mahanal was down on the floor and he was up there and he was reciting his poetry down to, down to him and like telling him to come and join the party. That, that scene, the way it was shot and the way it was written and the way it was acted was just... I, I didn't want the scene to end. It was almost Shakespeare in a lot yeah, of, a lot very of what, much. what happened in this in terms of like the dialogue and, and how poetic so it was. So much poetry. Uh, I thought Prakash Raj did so, so well. Yep. I really enjoyed his performance I did too. a lot. I thought... Um, he he brought a lot, like almost a yin yang of of their performances of Mohanlal, who's this happy kind of cheery person, and then this other kind of a pessimist, almost mm -hmm. but a beautiful poet. Yeah, and I thought it was really interesting how they actually did. Whenever he spoke poetry, it went into like this different audio or different kind of world thing when he was speaking it to Taboo or when he was speaking it to whoever. Yeah. I thought that was a really unique, uh, and then also the way it ended, I thought it was a great ending Did for too. the entire thing. I thought um, the this story, and so I'll get back to the actors here in just a second, this story surprised me a lot. Mm. A it lot. did me too. Well, I was waiting for us, we'll get to the story yeah. after we get to the actors directing Sorry. and everything. Do the story Sorry. again. I mean, I, I know we've seen her in quite a bit. This might be one of my favorite performances of hers. I know she... Also, double roles. They must be so prevalent in Indian cinema. Yeah. I feel like there's... They love doing double roles. I was actually real sad at the beginning. I, I know. Like, no! Oh, I thought she's gone. <laughs> she's gone already? Right. She just came. What are you doing? Yeah. Um, and then she came back, obviously, in a, in a, in a different role. Um, but uh, I thought it was really well done. I thought her chemistry on both characters... Was was real real good, and it was also nuances in both characters for yeah. her debut performance. I think it's one of her strongest. I agree. At, having watched her in a lot of things now through the span of her career, and even her later most recent stuff, Gersh to go back and look, she hasn't changed much. And I'm not talking about her looks, although she has aged wonderfully. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the fact that she came on the scene a star. 
Oh, 100%, yeah. She's the same Ashwari Rai that we see 20 years later. And what that tells you is how good she is and meant to be doing what she was doing. Because if I had just been introduced to... This is probably what I would have talked about the most at that time, which I think a lot of people were, was this was a great movie. The direction was great. Mahanal was great. Who is she? I mean, everybody knew who she was in India at that point. Yeah, yeah, but as far as like, she must have felt really good and everyone else around her in terms of you've made your debut and everybody knows you've got what it takes because mm-hmm. she is fantastic. She in knocked this. it out of the park. I agree. And I was sad both times when she died. I know. And it was it was like this thing that just happened. Yeah. And it was, it was so interesting. That happened a lot, obviously, even with his death at the end. They didn't, like, hype it up. No. Nah. It was like this thing. Very believable. He died. He just died. She died. Yep. And that was very believable. And like, I, it I, wasn't like this big, overdramatic thing. And I also liked <clears throat> another part of the subtle power of this thing. And we'll get into the story. But I loved the relationships and how these guys had t- two women each in their lives. And how... They both just gave into that, but also kind of fought with it, especially him when he first sees her and he doesn't want her to be in films because, oh my good, goodness, that, <clears throat> that, that's her. And, and the wife is the one who said she needs to be in your film. Which, by the way, we know what Pushpa means now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> her name is Flower. It means so it's like, oh. Fire. Yeah. Sorry. Fire. <laughs> flower. Fire. Flower. Uh, it means hot flower. Uh, I, I loved the moment where he sees she has written the mole on her arm. Mm-hmm. And that was an unforgiving close-up. Mm-hmm. I mean, that yeah. on, and on big screen, you can't have a false moment in that moment together. And for Ashwarya to be holding her own with this legend, I, it's just as good as it gets. Yeah. I, I loved him. Uh, so I thought very strong. And Taboo, even though I wish she was in it more. I know. I was I was so like, okay, is she going to be like, when she was like seeing, watching him on the train? I was like, yes. oh, the second half is going to be a lot of Taboo. And it's, she's in a little, but. but for, uh, here, so there's been many times I have talked about how much I detest fake crime. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if you want to see the exact antithesis, if you want to see what it is that I believe an actor should give you when they're genuine and their tear is coming from a real place. It's the moment on the stairs. She literally just made it. She just, and what I also loved is Money Rottenham didn't cut. Mm -mm. And I bet he's the kind of director who just lets it go and you just stay in until he stops and he may not stop. Like in One Floor Over the Cuckoo's Nest, there's this moment where uh, Jack Nicholson's character has let everybody in into the floor for a party. Yeah. And there's a shot where he's just sitting by the window and he's watching everybody and it goes on for a weirdly long time. Mm-hmm. And Nicholson is just standing character. And that's what you have to do as an actor with a great director. A great director may want to capture you for, he may sit there for five minutes or she, and you've just got to stay in it. Taboo on the Staircase in this film, it shows you the brilliance of that actress Early in her career. Very early. It early. Was, one, it was wonderful to see her again. Yeah. She was really I prevalent at the beginning. Taboo. And I, honestly, she might be the greatest actress we've seen in Indian cinema She so is, far. for me, she's, I mean, her and Irfan are the actors that we, we knew in America before, at least I, I for sure did. I had seen Taboo appear in different things. And so, like, it was the name I knew from Indian cinema before anybody. It was just those two. And Irfan, I didn't even know by name. I just knew his face. And yeah, if someone were to say to me, who is the Meryl Streep, the goat? Which, I don't know if you've heard, there's a Jennifer Lawrence story about Meryl being called the goat on set recently. And at one point, Meryl said, yeah, just tell the old goat what to do. And Jennifer <laughs> was like, wait, Meryl, you know why we're calling you that? And she said, yeah, because I'm the old goat. <laughs> And she said, no, you know what, it's, it stands for something. It means greatest of all time. She had no idea. That's why they were calling her the goat. But anyway, I consider Taboo to be, she in my mind is the Meryl of, of Indian cinema. The Kangana? Yeah, I oh, didn't okay. say it. He did. <laughs> uh, directing, yeah. we just said at the yeah, outset. Yeah, yeah. She, uh, I mean, it's Taboo is amazing. I can't wait to see more of her. But yeah, she was in this, I wish she was in this more. 
Uh, because Me too. I thought her such and a good Prakash actor. Raj had great chemistry Agreed. together. Um, and so, but yeah, she was in it very little, sadly. Yeah. Um, but yes, the directing, I thought this might be, I think this is his best uh, it's, directing It's his best directing. I think his best overall film is still Bombay. Me too. I think that is like, just everything comes together so nicely. It, but, it's, but it's true. It's one of those things where you can see in a film, director should go to this person, but overall film may not go to the film that director directed. Yeah. Uh, even though this film, I, I think I think you're right. I think you're right. This is probably right behind. Um, even though I, I did enjoy um, uh, Roja, obviously a lot more than you A lot did. more than me. Um, but I think overall film in terms of acting, performance, uh, everything, um, this I think is probably second to, to Bombay. Absolutely. Uh, first in some aspects. Yeah, um, and, and it is for me because Bombay is on this list as well as far as my favorite Indian films, period. Yeah. These Bombay and this are in that conversation yeah. for me and his his script just uh i one of my favorite scripts and i know we get the lost in translation in a big big way and there's probably a lot of films we've seen that the subtitles destroyed the brilliance of the script thankfully i think these subtitles at least they felt like it felt <laughs> like they did their best to convey the original intention of the language uh and you had mentioned score yeah. i agree the score was Fantastic. There was a lot of songs, just, so just much in music. terms of the song aspects. There was a lot, and it, I think it helped with the flow of the film. Actually. Agreed. And I thought the songs kind of fit. It did not fit. It's two and a half hours long. No. Doesn't when I looked up and saw I had 25 minutes left, I went, really? See, Push Bob was only 20 minutes longer than this film. And felt like five <laughs> hours. <laughs> that yeah. shows you the length of the film only matters if it's not cut well together. Correct. Um, but yeah, so this is, I think all the songs are dosed of course, did uh, so impeccably. But I thought the incorporation of them was actually really neat because obviously some of them started um, and you're like, oh, this is part of the song, but it was actually a song from the film that they were filming yeah. in the film. Which, I mean, you're going to always, <laughs> anytime, and it's this way, you see it it's at the Academy, anybody who's, a, you know, actors, anybody in the industry, when you make a movie about movies yeah. or a movie about plays, yeah. there's always a level of joy you're going to get. Yeah. If you love film and you love the industry. I thought the incorporation of Wood, but then also just the score in general, like I said, I actually loved them, even if it was censorship. Uh, I thought it was a, a brilliant way to work around Agreed. the censorship because not only was the cinematography, but it was just going around him like this, which also is hard to set up hard that to shot. Set that shot. Uh, you know what else was crazy? <laughs> hmm. The shot where he's laying down, uh, where where Raj uh, is is laying down with Taboo, and he's doing the the spin around above them. And he's dropping down as he's reciting poetry to Taboo. Mm -hmm. That was a gorgeous cinematic yeah, shot. M wonderful. Um, yeah, so the score they've, they've involved uh, with the film I thought was really well done. Some of the songs we had actually reacted. I don't know if they yeah. ever made it to the channel. The... Towards yeah. the end. It, yeah. It's a great song. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it ever made it to the channel. Um, but yeah, I thought it was um, super, super well done in, in all aspects. This might be... Even though Bombay might be my, his most enjoyable film for me, I think this is probably his most complete film. I agree. There, there's it's aspects, weird, like weird I said, to say it, that. it depends on what you're talking about to determine what... A, artistically. Artistically. Because, I mean, but artistically, Bombay is brilliant too, though. And one of the things about this, like if someone said they think this is a better film, I wouldn't argue with them about yeah. it. The power of Bombay is very full frontal in your face. Yeah. It's definitively profound in the context of really cataclysmic circumstances, right? Mm -hmm. So the profundity is palpable. It's right there. This has no less profundity. It's just much more subtle. And for a lot of people, they may say, I, I appreciate that because that's harder to do. Like, if you, if you look at this overall film, <laughs> a, a big, you know, like, what's the moral to the story or message is the, you know, the power of power. Yeah. And not just the corruptibility of it, but just basically what is power? Why do you want that power? What will you do with that power? Because you see both of these men make good and bad choices with their power. Yeah. So it isn't this just power is bad. It's what do you do with the power and why do you do what you do? And I find it also very interesting, the relationship, because it's not just in Indian cinema. It's, it's in American cinema and I think it's in any country that has big cinema the interweaving of people from both the world of politics and the, the world of, of film. Mm -hmm. uh, because both people, if they're doing it for the right reasons, are doing it because they have a deep compassion for the human experience and want to see social justice and human rights and change. It's why 
I mean, it's why Reagan became president is because that was just what was in him and why so many actors are also activists. And I appreciated this non-judgmental, non-stereotypical portrayal of what I believed were two real human beings who were buddies and one just <clears throat> gravitated. They both loved art. They both loved politics and for different reasons. Yeah. And that, that relationship, how it grew and then how it split apart. I yeah. Thought was really, really well done. Just a great um, movie. For the film. Um, so, yeah. That was, it was, it's a really good film. And I know you all know that. <laughs> That's, I've yeah. heard, I'd heard about this film for a long, thank long you, time. Thank you for the recommendation. Uh, this was thank a good, you for, this was a good for one. waiting uh, for us to get to it. Yeah. Um, so for all of them, not only uh, Mani Ratnam, uh, Mohanlal, Ashwarya, um, Pakash Raj, I, yeah. I enjoyed him a lot. And Very of much. course, Taboo. Um, let us know what of their films we should watch next. What should be the next Tamil film that we watch? Let us know. Down below.